Meet the Get It Guy. He's a decent, hard-working fellow working for Ex Libris Primo. The Get It Guy has his hands full. Every day he faithfully serves millions of happy academic users who are searching through all sorts of scholarly materials to find exactly what they need. The Get It Guy is far from being the complaining type, but if there's one thing that gets under his skin, it's his friend, Mr. Next, who is in charge of flipping to the next result page when users do not find exactly what they are looking for. In recent months, the Get It Guy couldn't help noticing that while he was working harder and harder, Mr. Next was spending more and more time chilling out on the beach and less time working. So, on his day off, the Get It Guy catches up with Mr. Next, who's sipping a long cocktail on the ocean boardwalk. Hey buddy, the Get It Guy says, how are things? Works not too hard these days, I hope. Not at all, replies Mr. Next. Life is pretty awesome, to tell you the truth. Thank goodness for Primo's ScholarRank technology, eh? ScholarRank, asks the Get It Guy. What does it do? Well, says Mr. Next, from what I've seen, it basically gets users to ask themselves how Primo knew what they were looking for. ScholarRank is a set of sophisticated relevance ranking algorithms. As you know, Primo has always displayed results by relevance, but now, with ScholarRank, the ranking is even better. So the items users are looking for are always at the top of the list. But I guess all search engines have such algorithms, don't they? That's right, says Mr. Next. But ScholarRank's algorithms are adjusted and enhanced specifically for academic searches. So that's what's making me work so hard, thinks the Get It Guy aloud. Well, yes, says Mr. Next, but it's nothing personal. ScholarRank is actually based on years of research and development and uses several methods to rank items for a specific query. First, ScholarRank cleverly matches the query against each item. If, for example, the query words appear in an item's title, the algorithm recognizes that item is probably more relevant to the user than an item in which the query words appear only in the full text. The second method ScholarRank uses is an item's value score. Hmm, value score, asks the Get It Guy. Is it like Google's PageRank? That's right, answers Mr. Next, only here it's adapted to the scholarly domain. The score represents an evaluation of an item's academic significance, regardless of the degree to which the item matches the query. To calculate an item's value score, ScholarRank relies on both exclusive usage data from the Ex Libris BX article recommender database and parameters such as the item's number of citations. Aha, says the Get It Guy as he rubs his aching lower back. I think I'm beginning to understand. Wait, says Mr. Next. We haven't talked about personalized ranking yet. Information about the user's area of research or academic degree, for example, enables ScholarRank to boost the materials that are most appropriate for both the researcher's field of interest and the depth of information that this individual is seeking. The Get It Guy thinks about it for a second. So, you're saying that a PhD student in astronomy who types Mercury will see different results at the top of the list than an undergraduate who's majoring in chemistry or music? Exactamento, says Mr. Nix, but there's more. ScholarRank can actually tell whether a query is a narrow or broad topic search or if the user is seeking a very specific item and chooses the corresponding nuance of the relevance ranking algorithm. Let me see if I got this right, says the Get It Guy. In a broad topic search, say, a search for global warming, an article dealing with a specific aspect of global warming will probably be less relevant to the user than reference materials or review articles, so these will be first on the list. Precisely, my dear friend, says Mr. Next. Users now flip through fewer and fewer pages of results and find what they want on the first pages. So now I can spend most of my time here at the beach. By now, the Get It Guy really needed to head back to work. He was a very responsible little button, after all. Finally, adds Mr. Next, since local library collections are relatively small compared to the vast Primo Central Index, Primo enables libraries to make local materials visible at the top of the result list. This is what's called blending. That's awesome, says the Get It Guy. But hey, I really need to head back. You know what, says Mr. Next? 
Why don't I come and help out a little? I really need a workout. That would be great, agrees the Get It Guy happily. To learn more about the Primo Scholarank technology, log on to www.exlibrisgroup.com.